Hey guys, today we are gonna work on a new gaming setup. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna show you the room now and show you what it looks like. This used to be my dad's office. The PlayStation 5 is under my dad's desk at the moment, so we're gonna make something cool to hold it in soon. This is where I've been sitting for a long time to play the PlayStation. On the back wall behind me just there, we're gonna have some pretty cool diamond tiles. We got like a massive desk to go like here as well. I guess the first step is clearing all the stuff out of the room. Let's get to it. We're going to be putting some diamond tiles up on the wall. Um, so I'm going to take you through the steps that we did to put the tiles up on the wall. And I'm pretty excited to see how they look once they're all done. So these are our tiles that are going to be going up on the wall. Um, I'll show you now where we bought our tiles from. They weren't too badly priced. There's two different sizes for these tiles. Um, there's a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter tile, and then there's a 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter tile. We went with the 50 centimeter tiles. Um, they were just going to fit up on our wall a little bit better and I think they'll look a little bit nicer as well. We'll go ahead and open up the box. There's the code on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can pause the zoom in. We'll open these up. Got some corner protectors on them. So they don't actually feel too bad. They feel fairly thick, fairly strong for what they are as well, which is cool. That's excellent. That look on there is going to be amazing with the um, with the LED lights shining up there. So there's a couple of different options for fastening them to the wall. You've got the option of using some sort of adhesive on the back. There is a couple of flat surfaces. Obviously, because the tile is three dimensional, you've got sort of parts that aren't going to touch the wall. But you do have these lines in between that do touch the wall. You can use adhesive um, and attach them to the wall. It's fairly permanent. What we're going to do is uh, some good quality double sided tape. We'll probably go three points of contact on each side. So in the corners and in the middle, and then we'll also do a strip in the middle of the tile as well. And that should give it a nice solid contact on there. The first step would be to get the wall measured up. So we're going to find our center of the wall and then we're going to start at the top from the middle and work our way out and then down and out and our tiles are going to be going to just below the height of our desk which is going to be going along this wall here for us we're not going to be going edge to edge for the wall we're only going to be going up to a border so our wall is 3.9 wide and our tiles are 50 centimeters so uh, we should have a little bit left over either side which is going to be our border and we'll decide once we're done whether we end up uh, chopping the tiles up and filling in those gaps or if we leave them uh, as they are with a bit of a border. I think the border should look pretty nice though. All right, first step's gonna be, we'll get up onto a chair and we'll measure up the center of the wall. We'll find the middle of the wall and we'll start building from there. done is I've found the center of the wall so I've measured off one wall to the other wall I found the middle these are our marks here for the center of the wall and then each tile is 50 centimeters wide the middle of the tile which is obviously 25 centimeters right on our mark and then just made a mark either side so I'm not sure if you can see the gray marks there and I've done there as well so we should be able to find the center of the wall pretty easy as far as the tape that I'm going to use, I'm going to give this stuff a go. This is just from Bunnings. I'll put a link down below where I got this from and what kind of tape it is, but um, it does hold 
10 kilograms per meter. So that's fairly strong in my eyes. These don't weigh anything. Um, and these have a good temperature range as well. So this double-sided tape is um, it's temperature rated between 10 degrees and 40 degrees. And uh, obviously yeah, it just makes it a lot easier for not needing to use anything permanent on the wall. Um, and I think this will hold it pretty well. So uh, this is the tape here. Pretty simple. Um, we're going to give the wall a bit of a wipe down and uh, and see how we go with it sticking to the wall. We'll do sort of a test piece first. Um, we'll, like I said, we'll start from the middle at the top and work our way outwards. It sort of feels like it's stuck to the wall pretty well. We'll do another couple of tiles and see how they all go. as much of the wall as we can we're just waiting on one more package of the wall uh, tiles unfortunately that wasn't here in time but you can see in the background there we've done pretty symmetrical job uh, we're just missing four tiles so two tiles and two tiles but given the amount that come in the packages which is 12 their packs are 12 um, we might even do another row down below so we might go all the way to the floor we're not sure yet we'll see how we go we'll wait for that package to get here in the meantime our next step is setting up the uh, ikea drawers that are going to be the sides of the table the drawers are called alex drawers from ikea um, i'll show you the box and i'll show you a link to them on their website as well to show you which ones we got but they're basically going to be the legs of the table so um, the big bench is going to sit on top of these drawers and the drawers are going to be either side the only thing we're not sure about yet is whether we're going to space the uh, top table up off the drawers we'll see what the height's like at the moment and we'll go from there tables together we've got both of them set up they weren't too hard to put together which is good we're just going to measure them up now and get the spacing right and then we're pretty much ready to bring the big slab of wood in the table we've got the table top so i'm going to unpack that now we'll have a look we'll make sure it's the right one to start with and uh, we'll get her up on top of the drawers and get it into position see where it needs to sit yeah. 
So I'm not sure if you can see that. We ended up going with the darker style wood, which is the Kalbi from Ikea. I'll put a link up and show you how much it was and, and uh, which particular one we got. But I think that looks really, really nice. We'll set that up on the drawers and we'll see what it looks like. That looks really, really cool. Check it out. So I think by looking at it now, this drawer needs to go over just a little bit and we'll measure up and get that centered right in the middle. really good. We're going to have to find out whether we will put a lacquer on this or stain it just to seal it off because it does feel a little bit porous so I'll work that out. It's pretty much measured up at the moment sitting in a pretty good spot so we'll work out if it's going to be the right height. We'll get a seat up to it and see what it feels like. is the screen. How good is this? So we got the Samsung, we got the CJ79, which is a 34 inch ultra wide 2K monitor. Really excited to get this one open. We'll do a bit of an unboxing and we'll start setting it up. 